All right. Well, as 2013 draws to a close, several new reports say that al-Qaeda and its affiliates are actually growing stronger at this point and gaining ground across the Middle East in North and North Africa as well. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is live on this in Washington. So, Catherine, I mean, we've been hearing for a long time that they were decimated, that they were getting weaker. Now we're talking about more affiliates, right? Well, that's right. Al-Qaeda affiliates or the groups sympathetic to Al-Qaeda are now operating in at least a dozen countries. And those who are targeting the U.S. homeland or Western interests overseas include the groups in Somalia, North Africa and Yemen. And it was only a year ago Al-Qaeda in Yemen had lost significant territory and control. But in the last 12 months, the most lethal Al-Qaeda affiliate has gained ground. You see the fighting here with brazen attacks against drone bases operated by the U.S. in Yemen and against that country's defense ministry. And despite targeted U.S. drone strikes, the bomb maker Ibrahim al Asiri, you see there, whose devices include the 2009 underwear bomb that was able to bypass traditional airport security, al Asiri remains a threat. We're very convinced that uh, he is uh, very active. The bomb maker is active. The bomb maker is applying his innovation, trying to find that next <clears throat> avenue to cause us harm and damage. What you also see in these al-Qaeda affiliates is that the senior leadership often includes al-Qaeda operatives who have long-standing ties to Osama bin Laden, in some cases going back two decades uh, to the Sudan as well, Martha. Mm. Very unnerving. Mm. Uh, Catherine, thank you for the update.